Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about 20 random facts about me. Last night I wrote down a bunch of facts and I chose 20 of them to tell you guys. Some people may know about these, some people may not. It's not really secretive so I'm not worrying about it. I wrote down them on my notebook so I wouldn't forget. So let's get started. Alright, so the first one on my list is that I'm Portuguese and my family on my dad's side is from the Azores. I'm not just Portuguese, but the majority of me is Portuguese. I'm Italian Irish, basically almost all the whites, and then Portuguese with a little tiny bit of Spanish in me. But I look more Portuguese than everything on my, on my mom's side. Number two is that I'm double jointed in my fingers and I think my elbows, cause I can like do this stuff like with my fingers. Mostly my right. I can like do that. And then in my elbows, like they aren't, like they don't go straight. I don't know, like I've been told that I'm double jointed in my elbows. So maybe I am, I don't know. But, and someone told me that if I can do that with my fingers and I'm double jointed in my fingers, so I'm, saying I am. I don't know if I technically am, but I think so. Number three is I was originally allergic to cats and dogs, but since I grew up with them, I my body became immune. But a couple years ago, my mom decided to bring me to a place to get shots so I wouldn't be allergic to them anymore. But I never really was. And it was weird because I never had a reaction or anything for cats and dogs ever. And as soon as I started taking those shots, I would get two in this arm and one in this one and every appointment it would swap. So every time they injected what I'm allergic to and in my arm, I would, sometimes I would break out. Like it would be itchy and it would get red and swelled. But I'm like, why spend money on this when I don't need it? And those shops make me react to what I'm allergic to when they never did before. So I stopped taking them and I'm I never worried about it again. Number four is a few years ago, <laughs> I was driving an ATV with my ex on the back seat at my aunt's house in the snow and we were having a lot of fun. But when I drove, I think the second or third time, I went to go turn, but it was too sharp of a turn. So the ATV flipped on me, like flipped over, it landed on me. My ex landed next to me and used all their might to push the ATV off of me, which they achieved out of adrenaline and i had no scratch no concussion no nothing on me everything was fine i had a full body examination in the hospital nothing was wrong so then a few weeks later i broke my leg on a trampoline at a trampoline park that just opened so if it doesn't get you one way it'll get you the other way number five this is kind of embarrassing and people do laugh at me because of it but i know how to ride a bike but i can only ride it straight if I go to turn, I either take too wide of a turn or I don't keep my balance well enough and I kind of like wobble and I stop before I fall. The first time I actually learned how to ride a bike was when I was like 12 or 13, I think. Yeah, it's embarrassing. People do laugh at me, but it wasn't really a thing that happened in my childhood. Number six, my current favorite Bath & Body Works scents are Vampire Blood, Vanilla Bean Noel, Noir and Black Cherry Merlot. I actually have like three out of four of those with me. So I have Noir, which is this one right here. I have them in hand sanitizer forms. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel. This one's actually seasonal, so you can only get these around like Christmas time. Well, this one. And then the Cherry, the Black Cherry Merlot, Merlot, which is this one right here. I don't know if this one's seasonal, but number seven, I love candles. I even even if I don't light them that often, I do love having them. One, because you never know if you're gonna lose power and you need them and you don't have a generator. Two, the scents are wonderful. Three, it can be romantic if you feel in the mood, you know. And four, why not have candles? They're awesome. I'm like my mom, she loves candles, I love candles. Number eight, I hate the color orange, except when it's Halloween. I hate wearing orange. The only, I hate wearing orange, I hate looking at orange, except when it's Halloween. 
then it's okay if orange is everywhere because my favorite holiday is, is Halloween. So I don't mind orange at that time. And if I'm if I'm in the summer and like my outfit goes with orange, then I'll I'll wear like a like a brownish orange eyeshadow. But that's that's it for orange. Like I don't like I'm not a fan of orange. Number nine, my favorite smoothie place of all time is the sweet and sour bar at the mall. I go to the Emerald Square Mall and they have it on the first floor. They I'm I'm really proud of them because they used to have like just a just like a little kiosk, but now they actually have their own little store in on the first floor. You can get like Dell's there, you can get the smoothies, you can get, um, I think shakes, I'm not sure. And you can get ice cream too. I always get the pineapple mango smoothie. That's my go-to. It's delicious. I highly recommend it if, you, if the mall ever opens again and you go there. Again, it's called Sweet and Sour Bar. Second floor, it's near um, Hot Topic and... FYE. Number 10, my favorite anime is Fairy Tale. If you haven't heard of Fairy Tale, um, I can put a, I can put a photo over here. So I'm actually looking up like the summer about Fairy Tale, and it says Lucy, an aspiring celestial wizard, becomes a friend and ally to powerful wizards Natsu, Grey, and Urza, who are part of the infamous wizard guild Fairy Tale. This epic series takes us through all of the dangers that the members of Fairy Tale face and eventually overcome through mutual love and friendship. I am telling you, this is a freaking amazing anime. My, one of like my absolute favorite. Not the first one I've ever seen. The first one I've ever seen was Rosario and Vampire. I'll put I'll put a photo right here too. Um, but Fairy Tale, like it just holds a special place in my heart. It's amazing. It's like. It, it's made me cry multiple times and I'm not ashamed of it. You get so attached to the characters so quickly and you cry, you get emotional. There's so much drama. Not like drama as in like a regular TV show drama, but like like stuff goes down and there are dangerous missions that go on and, and adventure and they face some weird and quirky enemies and there are dragons, there are like a bunch of people with like different magical abilities. Natsu's fire, uh, Urza is weaponry, Grey is ice, Lucy has celestial keys, like keys for like Aquarius and Taurus, and, like etc. It's just a really great anime. I highly recommend it. Number 11, my favorite kid shows were Dora and Lilo and Stitch. Dora was my number one kid show. I watched it every single moment I had, I could. I sang the song every single time. I talked to Dora when she was like, oh, where's Swiper? That's some, that's some sort of stuff. And I was so into it that me and my sister, um, she would watch it with me. And I would, I would literally yell at her to not sing along with me because it was my moment. Dora was mine. I would get upset. And Lilo and Stitch, this, this is like a little bit, a little bit older. But I would literally wake up my mom at like 3 a.m. just to watch Lilo and Stitch the TV show. But I loved them. Dora was number one. Then I grew up a little bit and like Lilo and Stitch was my thing. Number 12, my favorite season is fall. Number 13, I hate the smell of gasoline and coffee. Yes, I know coffee. It's disgusting. That's just my opinion. I hate the smell of it. I hate the taste of it. Not my thing. Number 14, my favorite adult swim show is Rick and Morty. Number 15, my favorite TV show in general is Once Upon a Time. It, so that's basically like fairy tales coming to life. The summary is Once Upon a Time tells the story of a new world, one in which fairy tale legends and modern life collide. Emma Swan is comfortable in her life as a bail bonds collector when Henry, the child she gave up a decade earlier, suddenly shows up. He is convincing that she is the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming, who sent her away before the evil queen could cast a spell, freezing the fairy tale world in time and bringing them to present day Storybrooke, Maine. After taking Henry home, Emma decides to stay in the town to keep an eye on him, and she discovers he may not be wrong after all. So that's basically what my favorite TV show was about. I literally highly recommend it. Unfortunately, the show got um, I, think, I don't think I got canceled, it just like ended. 
but it's on Netflix. Last time I checked, I would really give it a watch. It's so good. If you're interested in fairy tales and stories and magic, that's the show for you. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. Number 16, I went through a severe tomboy phase. Yeah, what, I think I was like 12, maybe 11, 12. I would, I literally went to the store, bought a bunch of guy shirts and guy shorts. And I had like wicked short hair at the time. I mean, like I still do now. Like I had like my sides shaved, my, both my sides shaved, but like it was, all of this was like that long, I wanna say, maybe shorter. And it was, it was, it was, wow. And I had braces at the time too. Number 17, my friends would describe me as persistent hyper ridiculous funny kind generous and caring probably more than that but that's just what i wrote down number 18 my dream job is something that's simple like a desk job but if i really were to choose then it would be a stay-at-home mom number 19 the thing i love most about myself is my eyes and my smile i used to not think that but i have my my vu's aka my grandfather's eyes and they aren't in the family, so that's why I love them so much. Plus, they're like a really nice, like chocolate brown. And I love my smile because I got braces when, like, when I was in middle school, and they're really straight now. And I like, I like how big they are. I know, like, people call them like buck teeth, but like, I like them. It gives me more of a smile, you know. And the last one, number twenty. This goes back to the braces thing. I got my braces on the day of my middle school graduation, and. <laughs> I, the last day of middle school was the graduation, but during the school day, we had like a field day where we went off into the soccer field and there was like an ice cream truck there so we can get ice cream. There was like games and stuff that we could do. We can just chill out, read a book or whatever you want to do. There was like different stations, but you can just chill out and like sit down with your friends or whatever, have lunch. And I was gone like during the morning cause I was getting my braces on. It was like a little, like a wild process. So I get to school and I have a mouthful of braces now. A couple hours later, actually, I don't even think a couple hours later, I think maybe like less than an hour later. One of the brackets like back here, not my molar, but like between my canine and between a molar back there, a bracket fell off and I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had to call my mom and my mom's like, all right. So she called my orthodontist and I went there after the school day to get it fixed. But my, my, but my middle school graduation was that night, so it had to be quick. Thankfully, it was just one bracket. It was an easy fix, it's not a big deal. So I go to my graduation, I made it on time. But that's uh, that was fun. Bracket fell off, not even an hour after I got to school, after my orthodontist, I had to go get it. I had to go back, get it fixed, just in time for my middle school graduation. So those are 20 facts about myself. But for now, that's all I'm gonna give you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on what time you're watching this. And I love you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications every time I post. Bye guys.